This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. Selfie native like yourself, Jerron Ennis, uh, yeah. went up against Chris Van Heeren for the IBO. Yeah. He looked like he was winning comfortably, like he was going to stop Van Heeren. And, yeah. and heads clash. Van Heeren gets split open. Yeah. And now it's a new contest, man. It. It's fucked up how it ended because Boots worked so hard, and he and that wasn't his original opponent. Yeah. So you start thinking about all types of shit, right? But guess what though? What I saw, Boots learned a lesson too from that fight. Mm -hmm. Get somebody hurt, keep your distance. I mean, he jumped in a little bit, head buddy. Of course, Boots didn't think he was gonna get cut. He got cut though. I mean, and he stopped the fight. No contest or whatever. The belt still in the air. I know he wanted to be world champ. Um, he worked for it. He definitely was ready. He deserved it. Um, but with every setback, it's always going to be like a lesson. So with, to me, the lesson was, I mean, next time you get somebody hurt, keep your distance and break them down. I mean, you ain't got to jump right on the ass the way he did. But guess what? I felt bad at first because I'm like, damn. I mean, that's a champ. Come Another champ coming home. And... He young, but I didn't feel bad because you know why? I said, man, he still got paid. Like, man, fuck that. I got him out early, and I ain't the one with the cut, you know what I mean? I still got paid. But no, I know he wanted that shit to go down, you know what I mean? He, he wanted that belt real bad. He wanted that opportunity real bad so that he could start knocking at the bigger doors. You know what I'm saying? Knocking at the bigger doors, saying the bigger names. Um, he's still gonna get that opportunity. Um, I think they should give him that fight a rematch or either give him uh the lord made the original opponent or find somebody else but either way i think he i think he three fights away from a major fight do you think that that's going to turn other fighters off seeing him like chris van here and the only dude to ever get him out of here was earl spence and that was mm -hmm. a um what was it it took nine rounds of yeah, spence beating him up like that yeah and it looked like boots was going to do that record time yeah is it going to make uh the top name guys kind of like veer off and avoid him of course i, I feel that way because because everybody trying to steal money everybody trying to make the easiest fights they can or the fights that make sense which is cool but boots got one of them styles that people want to see and because he got one of them styles people want to see and because he could punch it's like you can't run too far you can run but you can't run too far like where you gonna go because the more he the more he hit that tv the more they gonna say his name. So it's like, you can't run, somebody gotta bite down and fight him. You know what I mean? So, the only setback was he ain't really get to hold that strap up in the air. Mm. But, still got paid, still got noticed and recognized for what he do. Everybody realized he was ready like a motherfucker. Jumped on that boy ass. Um, you know, just get ready for the next one. And I know he will. You know what I mean? Now, with that situation, do you want to be back in the ring within a month, two months, because there's only one round? Is that possible? I mean, yeah, yeah, because not really, no damage was caused to him. Mm -hmm. The cut was on the other end, and, and, and um, it was a nice size cut and everything, and it was in a nice spot. Um, but Boots, Boots, you know, he held his head, but like, like, it, like it hurt him a little bit, but not hurt him, but you know, he felt the pain, like damn, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But he, he seemed to be cool. I say shit, get me back in there. Get me back in there in a month and a half. Give me like give me like two weeks to chill. Get my rocks off a little bit. Relax my body a little bit. Cause when you putting in work, man, them camps and, and the way he trained, I mean, you putting in pain, man. Your body, your body going through the motions. So you putting in a lot of pain. Okay. Thanks, G. I appreciate it. My man.